Hi, my name is Matthew, founder and lead architect of this web application, AutoPsych, which is short for Automated Psychometrics. Psychometrics is the field of study concerned with psychological measurement. Psychometrics can be useful for improving the quality of tests and for informing the learning process. We know that tests and exams are a necessity. Society needs to check what people have learnt and check that people have reached some minimum standard. Teachers, schools, universities and governmental institutions carefully design and administer tests and exams and often simply give students a pass or fail grade. Mm. However, there is much more that can be learned from the data generated from the administration of assessments. Simply put, the spreadsheet of outcomes for each student on each question can provide important insights. We can use this data to check on the quality of a test and its questions. Overall, the test may be easier or more difficult than originally intended. Some of the questions in the test may not be well designed and we can flag such questions. We may need to remove such questions altogether prior to generating results and giving feedback to students. We can use this data to check for the questions that are possibly biased toward a gender or demographic group. By doing so, we can ensure that the questions in the test do not favour any advantaged group prior to finalising results. Perhaps your institution may be interested in verifying that the questions in your test uh, are not biased in any way. We can use this data to understand how learning unfolds in the subject area that was tested. That is, we can identify the specific skills that differentiate experts from beginners. Our software makes use of specialised statistical approaches, including classical test theory and item response theory, specifically rash modelling, which involves the application of simple, eloquent formula to observe data. Through rash modelling, we can match each student with specific questions, conceivably the questions that each student starts to struggle with in a test. The skills associated with those questions reflect competencies that the student might be ready to learn next, with some assistance. Our software offers useful ways to place students that sit different tests, perhaps grade 3 and grade 4 students, onto a unified scale through a technique called common item equating. Once you have generated valid and unbiased test results for your students, our software also offers ways for you to check on the differences between student groups, for example, different classes or experimental research conditions. Finally, our software also provides simple ways to check for the level of agreement between two or more raters who judge the same set of focal students. Essentially, this website offers an entry point for developing high quality assessment and related research. The software is easy to use. Simply upload the relevant spreadsheet, choose the procedures that you would like to run, and the software automatically generates a comprehensive PDF report and related technical outputs. We provide this service to you free of charge. No license fee, no login, and all of the source code for building everything here is publicly available. Why, you might ask? Well, three reasons. Number one, part of our job as academics is to provide a public service. Number two, we think that if institutions, that is teachers, schools, governments, force students to set a test, they should ensure that the test is of high quality. Number three, we believe all schools and educational institutions should have equitable opportunity to use assessment data for improving learning. My team and I lean on an emerging open source software environment to problem solve, innovate, co-create and build publicly available educational and research software solutions. If you want to take the lead in assessment in your school or institution, this software may be of interest to you. If you happen to be interested in extending the functionality of this software, feel free to do so and contribute to this public space. Thank you.